Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a really great looking used coach. We've got a 2019 Essex 4551 floor plan here, and this is a beautiful coach. Uh, I think it's uh, 27,000 miles approximately on this, and just in great shape. All of the high end features. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. First of all, as we look down the passenger side, we've got the Girard roof mount awnings. This also has the Girard window awning package with it. Just a great place to hang out when, uh, you know, when you want to be outside in the sun, have a little shade, watch your TV. As we uh, move down the side here, a couple of things I like to point out about Numars and I don't want to make it sound like Numar's the only company that has these high-end features, but they certainly have more than most companies, and I'll point them out as I go along. One of them is the way they protect their fuel line right here. You've got dual fuel fills, one on each side, and there is a steel plate right here that protects that rubber fuel line. And if you were to ever shred a front tire, you could get into that and really, uh, really tear up that fuel line. So that's a great feature to have, and you don't find that on many coaches. It's something you might want to get in there and check when you're uh, looking at a high-end diesel. As we move down the side, first of all, we do have a, a 4K Sony TV. Has the Bose sound bar with it. And then in this first compartment, we've got our pull-out refrigerator freezer. And you can see that pulls out all the way. You can get the door all the way open. You can set this uh, you know, as a refrigerator for drinks or if you uh, want to carry some meat or you catch some fish in Alaska, want to bring them back, you can use this as a freezer also. If you notice, when you open one compartment door, all of the lights in your storage compartment come on, all the LED lights. In this compartment, we have a full pass-through slide tray. And this is an electric one. And then over here, we have a larger electric full pass-through slide tray. And that'll come out either side. And while we're in this compartment, uh, I always like to point out the Star Foundation, talk a little bit about that. Numar takes this K3 Spartan chassis and they weld their superstructure. They call it the Star Foundation on it. So it's gusseted down to the sides. It helps support uh, your storage base. But more importantly, if you look at these floor joists, they're not resting directly on your chassis rails. The nice thing about that is you don't get the twisting and the, the tweaking that you might get where you'll be uh, cracking uh, tiles and so forth inside. So it's a very strong superstructure. It allows them to run the tile all the way back through the bathroom. And with the heavier uh, residential style appliances, having this kind of support is important. Okay, let's move down. In here we have another half slide out tray, and this is a manual one. You also notice in here we have our central vacuum. Now you can bring your, uh, your hose out and plug it in here and use it to clean out your, uh, your storage compartments, which is a nice feature to have. Also throughout, you'll notice you've got uh, one ton outlets in quite a few places here. So if you've got you know, something you want to plug in out under your awning, you've got a place to do it. These, by the way, are your control modules for your slide outs. Um, Numar has a great system with their Noogle, uh, their support after the sale. You can call and get one of their uh, support personnel on the phone. Let's say a slide's not working properly, and they can walk you through. A lot of times, just unplugging this leaving it off for 10 or 20 seconds, plugging it back in will take care of the problem. Sort of like resetting a computer, but occasionally you, you could find yourself needing to reset your uh, stop points. They can walk you through that, and we also have a technical advisor here with TransWest. All of our customers have access to Bill. Just a great resource for a lot of these, you know, systems that 
maybe you don't fully understand why it's not working, you just want somebody to help you out, there's a lot of people to help you there. Okay, as we move down to this compartment, there is a water tank behind there. They put in this pegboard, and I like the fact they've added this stainless steel uh, tray here. Great place for putting oil or tools or, you know, things that you're going to use outside. Now one thing about the uh, 2019 models, they do have steerable tag axles and I get a question a lot about what year did they start this, how can I tell if it's a steerable tag. One way you can tell is just look at the rear tires. You can tell they're different. This is a steerable tag axle here. If it's a uh, 2015 or so, you'll have a fixed tag axle and it'll have the same type of rim. Okay, let's move back. Over here we have our DEF tank. Now you can also fill your DEF from both sides. Uh, this coach has a 150 gallon fuel tank, so you've got 15 gallons of DEF right there. And then in this final compartment, we have our chassis batteries. We have our master bus fuses here. Uh, also your, your water separator right here, everything's easy to access. As we move around to the back, I'll show you the engine compartment. Now, this unit's powered by the uh, 605 Cummins. It's a 15 liter engine uh, with 1950 foot-pounds of torque and you can see it's a side radiator, so it makes everything easy to access here. Got your transmission, uh, dipstick and fuel here, oil, uh, fuel and, and dipstick, your radiator fluid on the far right, got your gauge here, this is for your air filter. It tells you when it's starting to get clogged, and you know, if you need to get in and change a belt or do something, you have access to it. So that's one of the beauties of getting these big engine diesels. They almost always have a side radiator. Another nice little perk, you've got a chuck here for your air system. So, you know, maybe you're towing a, a Jeep or some toys where you need to let the air out and go do a, you know, a pretty gnarly uh, trail in Moab. And when you get back, you want to fill your air, fill the tires back up, you can plug in right here. You also have one up front. Moving around to the passenger side, and again, as you look down, you can see it's got the nice window awnings, plus there's slide toppers on all of the slide outs. Again, our side radiator, much better cooling than a rear radiator engine, and it is larger. Second depth fill over here. So it doesn't matter which side of the pump you pull up on, you can fill your fuel and your def from either side. Then there's another little uh, compartment here that, you know, it's mainly just to put gloves or again oil or something in there. It's really not that deep for a sewer hose and this has a macerator anyway, so you're probably not carrying a sewer hose. Up here in this first compartment, we have our water bay. And you can see this coach has a, a power uh, a hose reel. You also have a, a gray tank and a black tank rinse. This is nice, so when you're dumping your tanks, you want to clean them out real good. Most of them will only have a black tank rinse. This one has the gray tank rinse. Uh, rinse. This is your macerator here, and that is uh, similar to a garbage disposal for your black tank. The nice thing is, is it pumps it out, so you can completely drain your black tank, and you can even pump it uphill if you need to. It has a whole house water filter, uh, outside shower and spray here. You can see you have all of your low point drains and uh, city water fill here. And one other nice feature is this water manifold. Uh, the beauty of that is, let's say you've got you know, a leaky uh, shower and you don't want to shut the water off for the whole coach. You can come over here and just shut off that faucet, the hot or the cold, 
you can see right here for your shower, for your outside faucet, uh, for your washer line. Just a nice feature to have right there. Moving over here, we have our 50 amp uh, power cord, and that's also on a, a power rewind. In here, you also have a little uh, input if you've got a portable satellite or maybe you go to an RV park that's got old fashioned cable, you can hook it in right there. This is your uh, transfer switch with your built in surge protector. And then this next one over is our Oasis system. And uh, there's two common hydronic heating systems, the Oasis and the Aqua Hot. One of the nice things about the Oasis is you have dual electric elements and then your single diesel element. So maybe it'll cool a little better in colder temperatures on electric alone compared to the Aqua Hot. And then of course over here is just the back side of our pass through trays. And as you see, you can pull them out from either side. It makes it nice if you're, say, a full timer and you might have some big Tupperware bins that you put in the middle of this. And it's hard to reach in and access them, so you can pull them in and out from either side. Again, our smaller pass through and full electric. If you notice there, they, they give you a couple extra floor tiles too if you should ever need them. Uh, one of the nice things about the in-floor heating here, it's an electric grid right under the tile. So if you ever have to get in and repair that, it's easy to access and then they give you extra tiles when, once you're done. And then this compartment here is our six volt AGM batteries. It is on a full slide out. Uh, and these are heavy. <laughs> So if you're the type of person that maybe is going to change the batteries yourself, makes it a little bit easier to get to. But you have eight total 6-volt uh, AGM batteries there. Normally, if you're working on this or dumping your, uh, your black tanks, you're going to do it Oops, with this slide in get that in all the way. Well, I've got a, a line hooked up there. I'll get that in just a minute. And then our final compartment here, we have a lot of our fuses for the chassis system. And uh, nice thing about this, if you're uh, your blinkers aren't working, maybe your power seat's not working, the fuse is going to be right here. They give you some extra fuses. Uh, you do have a power slide out there uh, for your generator, and this has got the 12.5 kilowatt uh, quiet diesel generator. This is also equipped with a three-way camera system, uh, backup monitor, and then you've got cameras on both your mirrors. That's an, a nice uh, feature to have when you're backing into a tight spot. You can look down that side of the coach. Well, let's go inside and take a look at the floor plan, talk about some of the interior features. Okay, now this is the uh, Rialta decor. It's got the uh, pearl glazed maple cabinetry, just a beautiful looking coach. And instead of the high gloss tile, they went with this uh, wood grain plank type flooring. It's more of a matte finish, but all in all, this is just a great look. This is one of my favorite colors. Before we move too far back into the coach, I want to talk about what we have up here in the dash area. And, of course, this has the push-button start, and uh, you push it once, 
and my uh, instrument panel is going to come on. We do have the glass dash. And then when I push and hold it, it's going to fire up for me. And one of the things I'd like to demonstrate right now is what they call comfort drive. Uh, not a lot of companies are adding this. It was exclusive to Numar for a few years. But what it is, it's a computer-assisted steering setup that is sensing the, uh, the crosswinds, you know, the torque on the tires, maybe you have a really crowned road. And instead of fighting that to keep it in the middle, it'll return it to the middle, uh, to the center position every time. So as you can see, we're not moving, obviously. I can turn this all the way, and as soon as I let go, this comes back to the center position. And that's a nice feature. Now I do have a, a way to adjust this. Maybe if I'm on the highway, I want to turn this up to four or five. Uh, it tightens up your steering a little bit. When I'm maneuvering around a campground, I might want to set this down to one or two where it turns very easy. Uh, let go when you're all lined up, it, it gets you dead center straight every time. Also, if you notice here, the 2019 Essex has two 10-inch monitors. And uh, one of the nice features with your camera system is you've got the 360 here. So you can see it's sort of a bird's eye view of your coach right there. But if you want to, uh, you know, just maybe look out your side. That's on the passenger side. You can see our two awnings. Your back, and uh, this is adjustable. So let's say we're hooking up. We want to look straight down at our hitch. We can adjust that there. That's more of a medium uh, setting. Or then when you're going down the road, you can keep an eye on the traffic behind you. So a great 10 inch monitor with this uh, bird's eye view, the 360 camera, just a nice feature. Uh, this is also equipped with your Rand McNally navigation and uh, you can go through the menu and you know Bluetooth in your phone. You do have Cirrus XM capabilities here. Uh, just a great setup. Now over here, a couple other things I like to point out. Number one, we've got the glass dash and and if you know you want to go through, see if there's you know it's telling me one of my uh, tires might have low pressure your settings, your TPMS, your trip uh, mileage there, and, and let me see. Oh, over here you can see we've got 27,033 miles on it. Another great feature about this cockpit is you have the push button adjustments here. So as I'm you know setting my steering wheel, I can go up and down. I can bring it out to me. Maybe I want to back a little bit. And here, the pedals are also movable. So, you know, if you're a tall person, you're probably going to have a back. When I get in, I generally find I need to bring those pedals out to meet my foot in a comfortable position. Great way to do it right there. And then over here, we have our Allison six-speed transmission, our HWH hydraulic levelers, which are standard. But this also has an air leveling system. And you know you can adjust that as you're going down the road if you'd like. So very comfortable cockpit. You do have three uh, memory positions for the driver's seat. So if both of you are driving, once you get set, uh, you know, hit that memory, it'll, it'll uh, move the seat to who's ever driving the way they want it. And then obviously we, uh, I'll go ahead and shut this off. We've got, oops, our visors and our shades are right here. I guess I may need that on to do that. Well, I'll access them through the back. There's more than one way to do that, actually. Um, let's take a look at the uh, floor plan a little bit. This is the 4051. It's a full wall slide, uh, three slide, bath and a half floor plan. Over here behind the driver's seat, we've got two recliners. Uh, very comfortable and you've got all of your, uh, your switches here for your shades. Say I want to uh, bring the day shades down. I can do that right here. I can do my, uh, my kitchen shades and the front shades and you can see they're coming down there 
at night. You may want to uh, drop your nightshades when you're sitting up here. All of that can be done right here. Let me see, kitchen, living room, our forward nightshades. So just really convenient to uh, sit here and open and close your shades from this position. Let's bring them all back up. Also over here, we have the uh, switch for our televator. So this is a great place to watch TV. We do have a pull-out hide-a-bed couch over here. Very comfortable sleeper if you are going to have guests. As we move back, let me show you a couple of these cabinets. Now, Numar gives you a lot of storage throughout. You can see this middle one's got some of your video components over here. Those cabinets don't actually look that big, but I like to use this to demonstrate how big they are. This is a 14 or a 15 inch plate from your microwave. And you can see, you can get it in there and shut these cabinets all the way. So they're, they're a lot deeper than what it looks. Also on this side, we have four cabinets here that are open all the way through. And you can see how far back that'll go. So this, this set here over our uh, recliners, long open compartment. If you have longer items, uh, you know, you can get them in there. You don't have to, uh, you know, limit it to the width of the cabinet face itself. Let's go ahead and put this back in. We have a few other cabinets here. And then this, uh, this seating area is a workstation also. The, uh, the credenza desk, they call it, or the buffet desk combination. This pulls out. You've got a couple of folding chairs that match these. And then over here, you've got some nice storage drawers. And uh, I particularly like, oh, and one thing is they're all soft clothes. I particularly like this one. If you work on the road, you might want a file cabinet. And this is a great place here. Over on this other side, we actually have a little keyboard tray. So a lot of people, uh, you know, can work remotely now while they're traveling. This is a great place to set up your work center. You have room down below for maybe you put your printer down there. And then also some storage underneath here. So all in all, just a real useful work center. Over here in the kitchen, uh, first of all, we've got, I love the way Numar does their cabinets. This is the, uh, like say, the pearl glazed maple. Excellent finish here. Uh, everything is lined with carpet down below, adjustable shelves. A little place up here maybe for spices or smaller items. And then on this side, you have a nice pull-out tray. Uh, this is convenient if, you know, maybe some of you ladies are a little bit shorter and can't reach all the way back. It's nice to have that. We do have a nice large undermount stainless steel sink with your residential sprayer. And over here beside it, we have our induction cook surface. And uh, this is a true induction. Any metallic pan, anything that a magnet would stick to will work on these. 
And a nice feature is you can actually pull this out, unplug it, take it out under your awning and use it. And it also makes it easier to clean if something boils over, or spills, or gets down underneath. Uh, very easy to pull that out and get it cleaned. Look at the glass tile backsplash they have here. Just a beautiful setup. They also have a little extension, countertop extension here. And you've got three drawers for storage. Over here we've got a nice silverware area or all of the remotes that everybody seems to need these days. This does come with a Galaxy tablet and you can remotely operate a lot of your systems and uh, once you buy this we get it set up, show you how to work it. Does have the dishwasher there. Got some other storage over here with another pull out. Maybe you can put your uh, trash can there or something. You can see we've got our racks for the uh, uh, convection microwave. Little area here to put, you know, dish soap or dish detergent. I guess I didn't show you the microwave when I was over here, but this is a convection microwave. And it is, a, I think this is a 36 inch GE microwave. We showed that. Got another little storage area here. Even tiny areas. Numar uses them for storage. Gives you a nice pull out there. Again, soft close. Same here. Across from your uh, kitchen area, you have your 19 cubic foot residential refrigerator, and it does have the wood panel cover on it. Uh, this is a, a French uh, door style refrigerator. Plenty of storage below and a large freezer area also. Beside your refrigerator, you have a cavernous uh, pantry area. You've got six shelves here, full pull-out. And look at these corners, the detail that they, that they go through with these dovetails. You can tell this is well built. It's going to last a long time without falling apart on you. And then over here we have our half bath. A couple of things I'll point out. I like the fact that they have a flush uh, doorknob here. Sometimes you're walking by and might hook your clothes. And also the way this is hinged in the middle, this is designed so when this full wall slide is in, you can still open this door all the way. So if you're a larger person, it might be tough to get in if it's hinged on the side and you can only open it part way. But this gets you all the way into the bathroom and I'll just open up some of the storage and step back and let you guys take a look. That is a Dometic porcelain toilet there. And if you notice the countertops, the backsplash, the window treatments, they all match the rest of the coach. You also have three fantastic fans here. Uh, one in each bathroom and then one up in the kitchen. Those are great if you want to just draw a breeze through here. Maybe it's, you know, not that hot at night. You don't need your air conditioner on, but you'd like to open a window and draw some air through. Okay, moving back into the bedroom. And again, you have just beautiful decor throughout. This has got the uh, the leather headboard here. There is an option that you can get an opening window back there. King size bed with radius corners and this is a dual uh, air mattress bed. Over here on both nightstands you have a cell phone charger 
You also have a little storage underneath. And you have an outlet. There's 110 and there's USB ports throughout. And uh, you know, I don't know if you can get a good shot of this, but one of the things I like to point out up under here, I've got switches. So when I'm laying here in bed, I can open and close my shades in the bedroom. Maybe I left the generator running and I can shut it off right here. I've got my, uh, my reading lights. I can turn on and off from either side and my accent lights. So it's just nice to be able to lay here and control the lights, the shades, the generator without having to get out of bed. And then up under the bed here, have some good storage. You can see those are our two folding chairs. Across from the bed here, we've got our uh, bedroom TV, again with the Bose sound bar. Nice storage, and this is a full compartment that goes all the way through, well, from this one over. And you also have uh, your panel here that you can control most of your systems. If you want to, you know, adjust your heat, you can do it right here. Uh, you know, turn your auto gen start on if, if you, uh, you know, want to set that for when your battery gets low. Oh, and there it just kicked on for us. Uh, your floor heat, this has got in-floor heat. You can adjust it all right here. You can also adjust your floor heat from this panel also. Down here we have six oversized storage drawers. And uh, you can see you've got plenty of room here for your dresser area. Another thing that this is a good place to point out, if you notice right here in the slide out, you've got tile there, it's not carpet. This is what uh, Newmark calls their more floor. And it's just a great look. A lot of people say, I don't want any carpet in my coach. Well, with this Newmar, it's one of the few companies that you get tile throughout. You can always put a rug down, but if you got carpet there and you, you know, get them dirty or you spill something on them, they're a little bit harder to clean up. Let's move back into the bathroom area. First of all, as we're coming in the door, you can see we've got our uh, washer dryer, and this is a 240 volt Whirlpool washer and dryer. And again, a little storage area down below. Across from your washer dryer, you have the largest shower that you can get. This is a 50 by 34 inch shower. It's got full tile surround floor, a nice teak seat in here, and the waterfall uh, shower head with a hand sprayer. Plenty of room, and with the cathedral ceiling that they've added, it gives you about six inches more clearance. So you can see, even if you're 6'2", 6'4", you can get in here and take a shower without having to hunch over. And then again here we've got our Dometic porcelain toilet. You can see we've got antifreeze in it. And then we also have an egress door. And this is a nice feature to have. If I was to pull this panel, a ladder would drop down makes it easy to get in and out. Now this is a, uh, a door that you can only open from the inside. Over here's our closet and this gives you a lot of room for hanging your clothes. As you can see there's a built-in shoe rack there. This side we have, again, adjustable shelves, a safe there, 
down at the bottom you can see those are the uh, the hoses and the heads for your central vacuum system. Have our medicine cabinet over on this side. You notice it's a dual sink. It's great if you're both getting ready in the morning. And then again some nice storage down below. And then over on this side, what we have is access to the plumbing for your uh, washer dryer. Like all of the Newmar diesels, they cover their air conditioning deck uh, vents with a nice decorative cover here. And uh, you can see up here, you also have accent lighting throughout the bedroom and the living room area up above. All right. Let me see. There's always seems to be something that I'll think of after I'm finished here. I'm going to go up and shut this generator off. So once again, this is a 2019 uh, Numar Essex 4551 floor plan, uh, about 27,000 miles on it. This is in great shape. It has the big engine capable of pulling 20,000 pounds. Let me give you my contact info. Again, my name's Mark Love. And if you want to contact me or text me on my cell phone right here, 970 631 0083. Well, the new year has started. We've got uh, inventory coming in. Uh, we've been doing a really good job finding these used units, either through trades or we're just out and out buying them. So if you don't want to wait in line to order a new coach, and maybe it's going to take six to ten months or longer to have a build, uh, give us a call or take a look at our inventory. We've got some really nice pieces here. And uh, I guess that's it for today. Thanks again for tuning in, and like always, folks, happy trails, drive careful. We'll see you next time.